girl with a little ginger, garlic, hey. whatever it is. Wow, this girl, is a fraud. <laughs> what is that? What is that? You can't bother my baby. See your baby. Join the conversation, guys. Join it. Hey guys, how are you doing? How was your weekend? And guys, did you check out the headies? Girls, did you check yeah, out the headies? Yeah, yeah. Seriously, I did. did. And did you notice how empty the seats were? They mm. were empty. Your I favorite show. Yes, well, your favorite show. You didn't have money, money to go, man. Are eating you eating serious? Everybody. Well, well, for me, guys, ultimately, I think one of the things that really, really got me elated was the fact that they held it at... Um, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. And I think it's a very good avenue to export yeah, our same. culture. Yes. I love the fact that we're not dwelling on our local scale. We're going global. Yeah, mm. oh, it's just really what I, I love about the whole thing. I used to won five hours. Well, guys, hey. guys, 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 that's not why we're here today. That's not why we're here. Mm. We will be having a very, very intimate and heated discourse after this short break. So, guys, check out what the Vox Pop has for us. Mm. We'll be back shortly. Okay, let me say two things. For us time, because for life, if you not get partner, you cannot move forward. So number one, my wife is like my partner, my backbone. And two, the second thing is my children. Uh, we have different things, but for me, the most important thing that attracted me to my wife is just the good character, the way she speak, that manner of approach. You understand? So we have different things. That respect alone, because in a married home, we need to respect. You understand? Uh, what got me attracted is, my wife is a beautiful woman. <laughs> and uh, she's tall. I like tall ladies. His niceness and the way he look and he smell. Go and sit down. I love guys that smell nice. Yeah, and guys that spend money. I beg, shut up. Guys that spend money. That got me, yeah. Because he smiles a lot, he jokes a lot, this is Christmas. This and he does not have uh, any bad mood. Like he's not, you know, he's not a stardist. Okay, guys, uh, that was really, really, really great. I, was, I had like mixed <laughs> feelings watching it because I yeah. could really relate to some. Yeah, of I relate to some of them. Yeah. So, um, when it comes to relationship, girls, mm -hmm. what is that thing that tickles your fancy when it comes to? You know, having a partner. What are the things that you expect from the person that you are in a relationship with? Okay, um, I'm just going to go into this book I read by Gary Chapman called The Five Love Languages. I don't know if you guys have read it before. Mm -hmm. so let me just quickly list out the five love languages because I feel like a lot of people don't really even know these yeah. love languages. So I will just quickly list them out. A second. All right. So we have words of affirmation. We have quality time. We have receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. So now I'm going to ask you girls, what do you think, where do you feel you fall under in okay, this, you yeah, know? Like for me, I'm big on words of affirmation. Like I want you to encourage me. Mm. I want like, I want to come out and be like, oh baby, you look fine. Yeah. Those kind of words, they build my confidence. Mm -hmm. So I always like a man that will tell me nice things. Yeah. So what, because... I'm still discovering myself. I'm still self-discovering. So I want a guy that will be like, yeah, you're good at that. You are yeah. doing well. Those are things that really, really, really be important to me. They are much more than money. All right. Do you feel like really? that's your only love language? You know, I have words of affirmation. See, acts of service also. Like mm. a guy that would help you wash clothes. Well, that has actually helped me. In which country? In which country? In which country? When I was in school, I kept my dirty clothes in this car because I was okay. sitting at home. I could not go with that. So I left it there. When yeah. I came back, I saw everything washed oh. and folded. Are you Just kidding like, me? If you came home, what is that? Again, I've actually done the same thing so for cute. me. Yeah. Well, the thing was, it was in the laundry because we had this washing machine part. Mm -hmm. So I was expecting to come back and do my washing machine laundry but i came back everything was spread everything was washed i was I'm really happy i'm the only happy. person that's never experienced anything like that like act of service is so <laughs> that's weird. sad okay for me mine would be words of affirmation i just tell me sweet things tell me what i want to hear tell me how i make you feel tell me i'm beautiful <laughs> no, 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 no 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 but the truth is i could tell if you are genuine with your words. Yeah. And you can also tell if you're trying to manipulate and yeah. deceive mm -hmm. me. 
Uh, words of affirmation. I also love gifts. Girl, if you want to get in my pants, give me gifts. Imagine. That's the quick see. I'm giving you for expo. Now, if you want to get into my pants, give me gifts and bam. I don't <laughs> <give you. laughs> There's also the part where like people give gifts by just being there. Yeah, I think yeah. I think that's that's one part that people don't really mm-hmm. understand. I could give you my time. Yes, so that's where like yeah, the, the, when that's, you need him, like when until you lose your dad, I, your partner being there, that's like a great gift. I don't, that I don't, do I, I'm much. not, I don't, I think I I would grow into desiring something like that but as it is right at now your point now. i don't think i like my partner being around me constantly being in my face you like your privacy I love, yes i love my privacy i love my space so yeah. i'm not i'm not big on being present time quality time and all of that well as for me i love um quality time i love attention i love it when my man is there for me i like it when he, he shows me that okay you have time for me because yeah. I'm spec now. So like like, you have time for me. You can you can actually sacrifice for me. I'm a kind of I'm a very sacrificial person. So I feel like I give you energy, you give me that same energy back. I love quality time. I love receiving gifts. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I feel like when I receive gifts, you know, it shows that you actually value and appreciate me. Because you would only go of that lens for something when you actually appreciate that person. And I think I also love um touches. Yeah, I like it when you touch me, physical touch. touch. I like it when you touch me. I like it when you're around, when we hold hands. You know, those really basic things that people don't... I think PDA falls under that. Yeah, PDA. I I love PDA. Don't don't, come. I I I I I like it when I'm kissing my man in public. Like, you know, guys, my man. Can I say something? I don't care if I rode on you all night. Don't touch me when we're in public. Thank you. You be don't come people. close you, you to me. People. I don't care. You, you be writing people. Don't touch me. Don't be <laughs> hold me. Don't try. Nah. So for people with that physical touch as mm. their love language, when your partner is not touching them like that, they feel like this man is cheating. Like that. That's how I, I am. Like this man like that's how I am. That's how I am. No. Not in public. That's how touch I am. Me in private. Touch no, me. touch me in public. <laughs> because I'm like, I'm not know. You should be proud of me. You should be like, okay, yeah, this is my baby girl. This is my queen. You know, all just really like, like, yeah, you I know, I really do. It's it's really sad and unsettling that a lot of people do not yeah, know that love language is actually a thing, and they're just they just find themselves being drawn to this particular person, but they don't know why, and they don't know that this person understands their, their love, love languages, languages, and that's why you know they're in sync and they're mm-hmm. synchronizing and all yes. of that. And sometimes, like you and your partner's love language, would not always be the same. So it's yeah. important to try and figure out your lo- your partner's love language from their requests. Mm-hmm. So sometimes your partner may saying, "Help me do the dishes. Help me do the dishes. Help me do the dishes." That might just be her love language. She wants yes, to see, service. Yeah, she wants to see that you care for her. Sometimes. So it's important to let your partner know what your love language is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's easier to help you guys build. It's easier. A relationship. I feel it's yeah. it's better for me if I'm getting into a relationship with a person. I should ask the question. Most people actually, you know, fade it away and they do not ask that question. What is your love language? I'm getting into a relationship with you for the first time. I don't know you. We're coming from different backgrounds, different yeah. settings. My love language would be touches, and you don't like touches, so you're not giving it to me makes me doubt that okay you actually care about me you actually love me and me not touching you makes you feel like oh i don't really like i think it's I good to say it at the beginning yeah. yes it's good but i feel the fear with most people why do not like to say it is because people pretend you can tell mm. this guy like oh i love you touching you i love gifts and he does that for you for the first six months yes and after then it's over but that's where love comes in because i don't i don't feel like love actually fades but love is not enough love has never been enough love has never You've been had enough, relationships but... where you people know that you were crazy about each other you loved each other but it still did not work do you think because it was there's more to, love? there was more to it than love that's no I, I would I would have to disagree with you with that, Becky, because I feel like if it was actually built on understanding and you yes. know, getting to know each other very well, it would not fade with time. It would not even fade at all because you were friends. Yeah. Most relationships are based on, on attraction, attraction, attraction infatuation and lust. And once okay, that is gone, okay guys, I think we're gone. kind of drifting a little bit. Okay, guys, so the take home here is this. If you're yet to get married or you're still navigating your way through, you know, getting into a relationship, I would really love for you to read this book um, by Gary, Gary Chapman. Chapman. Five 
love, love languages. languages because it's going to give you a guide on what to expect to and how expect. to you know appreciate how people appreciate and learn people. and adapt when it comes to relationship yeah yeah i think it's very important knowledge is power they say actually so if you go study the book by gary chapman the five love languages you know how to like you know appreciate your partner how to tell your partner okay this is it this is my love language where you feel you're not even fitting into your partner's lives and know how to feel that balance space it's 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 very good i feel yes and people you also have to know your partner's love language like for people that their love language is basically communicating with each other quality time Mm -hmm. you need to learn how to talk to your partner there are some people that grew up in houses where they are not really allowed to express yes yes so expressing to a partner who needs that Mm -hmm. would be difficult so so you need to learn your partner's love language you need to learn learn how to express love to your partner in the way your partner would feel exactly all right guys so i want to know what you feel is your love language what you feel is your love language pardon me in the comment section below yeah, and you know just read the book by gary chapman knowledge is power read books learn search online things that you need to know about your partner you know how to appreciate them how to value them mm-hmm. we also want to know what you think in the comment section below b please do like subscribe and turn your post notifications on so that you oh, can please. get first-hand information when we drop hot stuff we'll see you guys next week